So over a month ago, I joined Octopus Energy and I made a video about it. Uh, the video was about the smart meter installation and going through the tariffs. Um, the two main tariffs for electric car owners with Octopus are called Agile and, and Go. And I went with Go. Uh, the difference being that Go is a fixed rate all the way through the day and then it's just a bit cheaper for four hours during the night. Um, only five pence per kilowatt hour during that night time. So it's fantastic for if you've got um, washing machines or dishwashers, storage heaters or electric cars, of course, that you can delay uh, and just have them using the energy when it's cheap. Um, Agile is different. Agile is really clever and uh, it tracks the wholesale sale rate. So all the way through the day, you've got different uh, electricity prices, um, which is absolutely fantastic, but I decided to go with Go. So this video is going to be like an update. I've worked out all the, I've got all the data, I've worked out whether Go is cheaper or agile, and I'll tell you that in this video. And I'll also tell you just how cheap it is to charge the e-Nero. Spoiler alert, it's really cheap. So let me start by saying, if you like this video, please press the subscribe button and the bell icon, and then you'll be notified of my other videos. Let's look at some data. Um, feel free to skip ahead if you want. So I joined Go on the 24th of July. Uh, the first full day was the 25th of July. That's the first full day of readings. So this is 30 days from the 25th of July to the 22nd of August. So there are comparison apps you can get and they tell you how cheap it is on Go compared to Agile. Because as I said in the intro, Agile changes all the time. Uh, some days are very cheap, some days are very expensive. Um, weirdly, okay, so in the month of data that I've got, there was a heat wave and it caused the electricity rates to go really, really bad. And it's weird because actually, usually you would think that would happen and there'd be an excess of solar and you'd think that that would make it cheaper. There were a lot of days with Agile um, where it actually got really expensive and I thought that doing this video uh, when I did this video, it would work out that I'd saved a fortune over Agile, but uh, I'll get to the data in a minute. So there were no plunge pricing events during this period. Plunge pricing is when you get negative pricing. In other words, they pay you to use the electricity, which is um, an absolute dream if you've got an electric car. That didn't happen at all, happen at all in the 30 days I'm looking at here. And um, so if you want to, if you're on Octopus, um, and you want to see whether it's cheaper on Agile, if you're on Go, then you can go to this link, octopuscomparison.netlify.app. It's a fantastic tool by someone called Jackasaur. I don't know whether that's his real name. And all you gotta do is enter your account number and your API key. To get the API key, you go onto the Octopus website onto your account, you go to the account information page, and then the developer link at the bottom, and then you can get the API key. It all sounds quite technical, but it's actually quite easy, really. So you enter that, and it gives you comparison graphs, um, so you can see for yourself. The green chart shows the Go tariff, the pink shows Agile, and uh, your consumption is shown in the blue bars at the bottom. So looking at this, you can quite easily see each day the amount of electricity we used, and. Uh, and the cost, and yes, how much cheaper it would be on Agile. So far easier than looking at all those graphs would be to put it on a spreadsheet, so that's what I've done. So you can see here that uh, it goes from the 25th of July down to the 22nd of August, that's 30 days. And um, I've put in red um, if it's more expensive, and of course green if it's cheaper. So you can see looking at this, uh, well very clearly actually, it's always been cheaper uh, when charging the car. Um, than it would be on Agile. But overall, if we go right down to the bottom, you can see that Go has cost us £34.73. If we were on Agile, it would have cost us £29.40. So that's £5.33 uh, more expensive Go has been for 30 days. So as a very rough amount, uh, I would say over a year, we would probably save about yeah £64 or something like that. Uh, based on the same usage. But of course, Agile does change. So all the way through the year, you know, it might get more expensive, it might get less expensive, but certainly for now, it's not an enormous amount of difference, but still nice to know that Agile would be a bit cheaper. Charging the car, let's talk about charging the car. My wall charger is Podpoint, and they've got a fantastic app. You can enter on here your tariff. It doesn't work with Octopus Agile, because that's too variable, but it works with Go, fine. 
You can go on their energy tariff and it'll tell you how much electricity you've used. So for instance, in this past week, I've charged it twice and it's cost £2.65. Um, so uh, not very much at all. So looking at all these charts, looking at all the data, you can see the points when I've charged the car. And it was a very, we didn't charge it very much because uh, our daughter wasn't at school at this point. Now she's back at school, we're using the car more often, we're charging more often. So it'll be interesting to see how it changes. Um, and I will do an update, but probably just a little note, and I'll just mention it on Twitter, I won't do another video about it. So stay tuned for that. So I put a fraction over 100 kilowatt hours into the e-Nero uh, for the cost of five pounds and four pence. Um, if we divide that 100 kilowatt hours by 64 kilowatt hours, which is the size of the e-Nero battery, that means uh, we charge the e-Nero to full 1.56 times, getting a bit technical, sorry, uh, £5.04 uh, divided by 1.56 equals £3.23 per charge. Of course, I already know this because if you look at pickanev.com, uh, you can see the cost of charging on, on Octopus Go for all the cars on it. But it's good to see it confirmed, albeit at three pence difference, but uh, that's just probably a rounding error. So I've no idea how much we drove during that time, but our average consumption is 4.4 kilowatt hours per mile, uh, so that would make 281.6 miles, which is almost exactly what Kia say is the, is the range, so the LTP, the WLTP range for the Kia e Nero is 281 miles, 280, 281, something like that. Um, so that's only one pence per mile. So my point being, uh, it costs us one pence per mile to charge the e Nero. That's pretty good, I think. So when I first went on to go, I had a feeling I'd want to be on Agile, right? So the go was just a test and I thought it would be a no-brainer. But as you can see, there's not a massive amount of difference. And actually, you might think that you prefer something like Go because you know when it's going to be cheaper. Agile is a bit more of a lottery. And unless you have a box like the Omi box that links in with your links between your wall charger and your car, um, unless you have something like that that intelligently changes your charging based on when the electricity is cheaper, you might find Go is just more to your taste. So for the moment I'm happy with Go, but Agile would, certainly in our case, Agile would have been cheaper. You can quite clearly see that Agile would have been cheaper. That's it for now, just a short video, just a quick update, but I thought you'd like to know how it all went. Thank you to everyone that used the referral link. The beers are on me. If you would like 50 pounds off your electricity uh, by moving to Oct uh, Octopus, then use the referral link at the bottom. Thanks very much for watching. Do press the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of the next videos. I've got some really cool ones coming up. So um, I look forward to speaking to you very soon. Bye for now.